if you are looking for a way to tie your three layer, three yards and cover material that is beautiful, simple and elegant, this tie is right for you. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to tie this beautiful Ankara air drop using your three yards Ankara fabric. So I just make some folds. It's not really pleased. I just try to reduce the length of my Ankara to the size that will cover my head at the back. If you wish, you can create pleats, but my goal for this style is not to create pleats. And now I just go to the back and cross it. And this Akagawa fabric is a division of 50-50, which means I divided into two equal lengths. So now on each side, I'm just making some garter pleats and see the way I carry it to the front like I'm trying to achieve a round gaily. And you can see where it ends, so I just hang it right there, use my head to hold it in place. And then I repeat the same thing I just did to the other side. Gather rough pleat and then bring it on top of the high hack that you already have to give your gilly more volume. And then this time around, I decided to divide the hand into two. And that hand that remained, that short hand, I tried to open it up and divide it into two, just like the hand of the longer one. And see the way I'm going to tie it, like you're doing the center knot, but this side time around is a side knot. I just knot it and make sure it is well secured and you can see I pull it snug and give it another knot just to make sure we have it well tight okay now we have secured that with the second knot I'm just going to arrange my gilly material in such a way that it frames my face and the hack is standing where it's supposed to stand. So that hand that I use to knot at the side, you can see I have more flay. I'm just going to use my hand to arrange some rough plates and we are going to tuck it down somewhere at the left side. So we went to the other of the short end and take the leftover of the end. So do I bring everything together and guess what I did? I used my pin to secure it. When you're working with pain, you really have to be careful so that you don't pain your hand. And now we have secured that part. See how hacky this Ankara head trap is? It's looking really good already. So I'm just going to tuck in the rough end, the hair cells, and the remaining flap of the end. I am going to divide it in such a way that I can form at least three leaves. Three leaves. I'm going to achieve that using my paint to paint down the paintables and form my leaf by that side of the center knot. I already have one leaf and then this one now, I'm going to divide it into two in order for me to form two leaves. See the way I hold it? And then in the center, then I use the leaf that I have before to kind of like cross it and I pin everything together in the middle. And now we have pinned on that side. Then I tuck in the loose ends and guess what guys? It doesn't look 
beautiful right now but we are done i'm going to be using my punch to uh, uh my pin to secure that middle part just to kind of make sure that everything stays where they belong and i use a brunch to divine it yes it divine the leaves it makes it to be more pronounced and guess what it makes it looks beautiful and elegant and guys that's it for this simple and cara air trap tutorial isn't this beautiful isn't this simple yes and that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do don't forget to comment tell me what you think about this airdrop style and share with somebody share with somebody that might be interested in this airdrop style share with your loved one your sisters i hope you have a blessed and wonderful day thank you for watching stay blessed stay productive God bless you. Have a wonderful and productive day. Ouch. Boosha, sha, sha, sha. Uh-huh. Africa, beautiful. Fashion and lifestyle. Africa, beautiful. Fashion and lifestyle. She looks like a girl that I know from my past. She looks like someone I love to talk